Hey guys, and welcome to a very special episode of The Terra Show. I know I've been gone for the last two weeks. I was super sick, like in bed, like bedridden sick. Then I got up, then I lost my voice. So that's what happened to me the last two weeks. But I'm back and I'm ready to go. So last week, or last time, we talked about how you guys should be bringing games along with you when you're traveling for the holidays. You guys had a lot to say about this and what you guys would like to bring along with you. So here are your comments. Zerawan had a pretty interesting list that I mostly agree with. Well, here's a list of games I'm bringing for my 3DS. Fire Emblem Awakening, Bravely Default, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, Super Mario 3D Land, and Pokemon X. Chrysala also supplied a pretty good list of things to bring. For long trips, the 3DS is my choice. My game selection, though, depends mostly on if I'm with company or not. And for those of you who are angry that I kind of dissed on the classic, Aspie Gamer has this to say. I still have Tetris on my Game Boy Color, shakes fists like an old man. I don't need your damn Playtendos and 3D Vitas. Made my day as well. All right, so this week, since there's not that much going on in the gaming community, I'd like to talk a little bit about myself. Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play this time. I'm going to be playing Super Mario World, and this is streamed live, so it's kind of weird that I'm doing this intro thing for YouTube, but I'm going to be live and reading the chat and everything. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys had the preconceived notion that I'm not actually a gamer and that I was hired just because of my appearance, but Zoom and Games actually hired me because I have both. I started out my career as a full-time model, but I was never shy in features to talk about how much I loved gaming and how that shaped my young childhood. In fact, when Zoom and Games approached me, I was already a prolific streamer on Twitch TV, really into the esports scene, and I had my own YouTube channel. So, oh, I was also writing for Impulse Gamer, which is an Australian website for gaming. So, yeah, I was pretty versed in gaming. Also, I grew up doing it, and I do it daily. Gaming, whether it be video games, tabletop games, or just general nerdery has always been my passion because it has so much depth and livelihood and amazingness and you can just be whoever you want whenever you want to be it. I feel like all of the intelligent people in the world would benefit from being a gamer because it just stimulates your creativity and everything about everything. Everything about everything. Get there. So the first games I ever played were Pitfall, Bubble Bobble, Rainbow Island, and a couple of other things on the Atari. The first actual console that I cared about though was the Super Nintendo. We had an 8-bit Nintendo, but I only had like one or two games for it and I was so young that I didn't even know I liked games yet, so I wasn't asking for a lot of games from an older system. I was just into the Super Nintendo. And the first game I ever really fell in love with, the game that made me know for sure I was a gamer and that I was in love with this kind of thing, was Super Mario Bros. 3 on the Super Mario Bros. All-Stars cartridge. So you know, the souped up version. I pretty much played the souped up versions of all of them because of that cartridge. When I was really young, gaming was something that I shared a lot with my mom and dad. My mom was really interested in like puzzle games, more like Tetris or even things like Rainbow Island. She really loved that game. Whereas my dad was into story and a bunch of other cool stuff like Final Fantasy type games. Also, when I got a little bit older, I had a ton of guy friends because they just loved the fact that I was a spoiled only child with a hundred game consoles. When the PlayStation 1 came out, I got it immediately and I had like a hundred to two hundred games for it. Like, I'm not even kidding. I had big books full of just CDs. Monster Rancher, Tekken, anything you can name. I literally had it all. I had things like really weird fucking games like Machine Hunter, which was one of my favorites too. Power level two. Transfer complete. And of course, Final Fantasy VII. Who could not love that story? My first serious PC obsession was World of Warcraft, which I'm kind of regretting that I told you guys. I had a Beastmaster Hunter and a Resto Shaman, and I did a lot of raiding and a hardcore raiding guild that I co-owned with my roommate. It was awesome until I realized that it was like a carrot on a stick game and I was wasting way too much of my time doing it. And I wanted to play something that actually bettered me as a person and as a gamer, so I fell in love with StarCraft 2. And then I started streaming StarCraft 2 because I became friends with a lot of the people in the community, a lot of the pro players and a lot of the casters. And they were like, oh my God, you should stream. People would love watching you stream. You're so different from all the other streamers and your gameplay would be hilarious because you have an awesome personality. And I'm like, great, thanks, let's do it. So I started doing it. And since I got into computer games so late, I was kind of really bad at my dexterity. Like my manual dexterity for uh, keyboards is awful. I don't know the home keys. I'm left-handed and I use the mouse with my right hand. And I kind of have to look at the keyboard if I want to type really fast. So that prevented me from getting higher than Platinum in StarCraft. I was Terran though, no fucking Protoss. Oh my fucking god! Ah! Ah! Pop up! Thank you! Yes! Fucking finally! Oh. My. God. 
First game, easy. Oh, oh my god. Do you know how long I've been trying to do this? And because of the backlash of the community and the fact that I realized I would never become a caster, which was kind of my dream at the time, I decided that I needed to stick to something that I could actually get really good at. So I fell in love with Magic the Gathering, which is something I liked a lot when I was younger because I went to Pokemon card tournaments with my dad. I got all the fucking badges. Fuck yeah, Wizards of the Coast. And to this day, I still love making a lot of awesome videos for you guys on gaming on my gaming channel and some vlogs about my life and things that I do for MTG on my vlog channel. As for a few other cool things I did, I was on Attack of the Show as Woman of the Web number one. And ruling the web this week is Tara Babcock. IGN glorified the gamer girl's love of Super Mario and Sega CD, and we couldn't agree more. So after this video, I hope you guys understand me a little bit more. There's actually nothing staged about my appearance here on Zoom and Games. There's nothing staged about my personality or how much I love video games. I literally just love video games, any type of video games. It can be mainstream, it can be hardcore esports. Retro games are my favorite, of course. I'm playing through a lot of them on my stream and on my YouTube channel. And I love supporting indie games as well because some of them are so freaking cute. Binding of Isaac, anyone? I also think Dungeons and Dragons is pretty cool, even though I've never played it. And of course, I really love Magic the Gathering, so yeah. And I was also a Pokemon card nerd before that was even cool. I was like seven. I feel like my experience as a gamer and in the nerd community has given me a lot of, how do I say this, depth. So even though I'm really open sexually and I do have the blonde hair and the big boobs and the model career and all that stuff, there's a lot more to me than that. I'm not just one dimensional. If you guys get me like completely sober, and you're like really hot and I really want you I'm fucking good in bed and I, I will I will brag this is one of the only things I'll brag about and no it's not because none of you will ever experience it well mo I don't think any of you will ever experience it I don't know I've never slept with someone watching my stream Thanks for watching, and this week I would like you guys to post in the comments about your first console, your first video game, and what really made you fall in love with gaming. I want to hear you guys' stories. I'll read off the good ones next week. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out my own personal channel down in the description. Whew, that is a lot to say in one breath. Also, it's 100 degrees, and I'm wearing a black sweater. How stupid am I? Bye, guys. Oh my god!